Welcome to this week's edition of the Spartan Sports Report. I'm your host, Sean Murphy. Let's take a look at Spartan Athletics. The men's basketball team is set to tackle three road games in five days, starting with UC Irvine this Friday, December 18th. Then it's on to Northern Colorado on the 20th, then back to the Bay Area to play against Santa Clara on the 23rd. Spartans enter the road trip with a big 84-80 overtime win against Cal State Bakersfield. Chris Oaks at 18 rebounds in the game, and he now leads the WAC in rebounds. But the big story this week was the women's basketball team knocking off number 22 Cal, 68-66 in Berkeley, snapping an 18-game losing streak against the school. Spartans were led by Chastity Shavers, who had a career-high 32 points in the win. She was named the Verizon Wireless WAC Player of the Week for her performance. I had a chance to speak with Spartan head coach Pam DaCosta after the win. I'm now joined with Spartan women's basketball head coach Pam DaCosta after the thrilling victory last night over number 22 Cal. It was the first win over a ranked team in, since 1983. Coach, what does that win do for the program? Um, it validates, you know, what my staff and I have been doing for, you know, since we've been here at San Jose State. You know, we've had to, you know, get the right players in the program that, you know, kids that were excited about being at San Jose State and wanted to be here for the right reasons. And, you know, it, it, it took a lot, but we, you know, we got it done and we got a great group of kids. So it just validates, you know, all the hard work that our kids have done and our staff has done to, you know, get this program moving in the right, right direction. Now, and, and the team has, has battled in just about every game they've been in it late and haven't been able to close. You kind of get a double double uh, satisfaction out of this one because not only did they close the game, but they closed the game against probably the best team on the schedule. What does that do for the team moving forward? It gives you great confidence because, you, know, we you know, we were down by, you know, about losing. The players were down about losing, you know, games by five, three points. But, you know, it's all part of the process of winning. You got to, you know, first you have to compete. Then you got to learn how to win, and then you have to learn how to win con uh, consistency. So, it, it you know, with the Cal game going down the stretch, and we had to make plays down the stretch, and we finally closed the game out. So it was great. It's huge for our confidence, and you know, everybody, everybody part of the program is excited. Now, coach, how do you bring them back down after a game like that? They've got finals now. They've got about eight or nine days to let it settle a little bit. But how do you bring them back down and, and get them focused for the next one? Because they, they've got to be way up right now. Yeah, you let them enjoy it. You let them enjoy it. And we get back uh, to practice tomorrow. Um, but they, you know, we make them understand that we got Sac State coming up on the 18th. And that's that's a huge game. It's a huge game because, you know, you go out, you go there on the road and you, you beat a good Sac State team. It validates your Cal win. And, you, it, you know, if you go back and you don't, you're not successful in that game, you know, people might say it was a fluke. But this is a good team. We have a very good team. They're talented. And now it's, you know, they have to understand how good they are when they play together as a team and when everybody shows up. So it's going to be, a, it, it's, it's gonna be a, great, a great game for us. But they just have to understand that, you know, we still got a long road to go and they just got to keep, we got to keep working to getting better. And, you know, when we get to whack, we'll be right on point, hopefully. And it's all about numbers, and that was 18-game losing streak against Cal is no longer there. How does that feel for you, satisfaction-wise, to know that your, your coaching staff and your kids were the ones that got that monkey off the back? You know, it feels great. It feels great, but, you know, it's just you kind of numb it's just because you can't believe it happened. But it, it's great, and we're going to, you know, enjoy it today, and then tomorrow get back to work and get back to watching more film. Thank you, Coach. Congratulations. Thank you so much. That was Coach DaCosta from the women's basketball team. They just knocked off number 22 Cal. More after this. If you have a Spartan on your Christmas shopping list, don't forget to check out www.imspartangear.com for all your shopping needs. Or if you're in the San Jose area, stop by Mosier's Limited in the lobby of the Fairmont Hotel for a full selection of Spartan merchandise. Well, that concludes another edition of Spartan Sports Weekly. Be sure to tune in Wednesdays for new episodes. And don't forget, go Spartans!